Welcome to Nikisa Org Chart Connect. This video walks administrators through using the new Active Directory extraction template. If your environment uses Active Directory and you're logged into your Active Directory domain, this new template can automatically extract your data from your system for you. With just a few clicks, you'll be able to extract your employee data, populate and validate the data in the spreadsheet, and upload it to Org Chart Connect. Start by downloading the Active Directory Extraction Template from the Data Management tab. The next step is to open the template and take it out of protected view. Click Enable Editing so you can work with the template. Now, you need to activate the macros in the template so they can extract your data. Click Enable Content to turn them on. Once you've done that, take the time to read the instructions on the first tab, then open the Employee Records Extraction tab. Ensure that you're logged into your Active Directory domain, then click Extract Employee Records. This may take a few moments, so the template displays a progress bar for your extraction. When it's complete, if necessary, acknowledge the Extraction Complete message by clicking OK. Once you've extracted your data, run some basic validation on the data by clicking Validate Extracted Records. This process verifies your organization structure data doesn't contain common errors such as employees who don't report to someone or more than one head of the company. The template will tell you how many errors you have in your data, if any, and color code them in the template so they are easy to find. Now in this case, it looks like we have three errors. There seem to be two people who are designated as the head of the company and one person who reports to someone who doesn't exist. The first two errors about the head of the company are color coded in yellow. The first instance listed is our actual Chief Executive Officer, so he should be designated as the head of the company. Now let's move on to the next yellow row. Now as you can see here, it looks like Stephen Armstrong, who we know reports to James Wolfe in Human Resources, has also been designated as not reporting to anyone either. So let's go ahead and copy James's employee number and paste it in here into Stephen's record so that we can indicate that he reports to him. The next error is color-coded in orange. Now when we look for the orange row, we find that the reports to employee number has a typo in it. If we correct this error, that should resolve the issue. We can now scroll back up and click Validate Extracted Records again and see that we've resolved our errors. After you've resolved the data errors, generate the spreadsheet to upload the data into Org Chart Connect. Then, return to your original spreadsheet to make a note of where the spreadsheet was saved. Finally, return to the Data Management tab to upload the file you just generated. Click Upload, then browse to the directory where your file was saved. Click Open, and you'll receive a notification that you successfully uploaded the template. Shortly thereafter, you'll receive an email letting you know your data is available. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to check out our other videos, the Nikisa Org Chart Connect community, and the Help Center to see what's possible with Org Chart Connect.